Welcome back to Dire Electric Videos. You've probably seen this vintage dune buggy in a few of my previous videos, whether it was the one on the alternator or the engine rebuild or a few other things. Today we're going to be improving the safety of the vehicle by adding a reinforced roll bar system. This system is going to ensure that the vehicle has a little bit better protection than having no roll bar at all, and additionally it's going to add some side impact protection to the vehicle as well. Let's get started with the build. Before we design, measure, and cut the roll cage components, I need to make sure that the body is going to sit level on the chassis. As you can see, this corner of the pan sits 11 and a half inches off the ground with the suspension in its natural resting state. In contrast, this other corner of the pan sits as high as 13 inches off the ground with the suspension in the same state. Now, I don't believe this is an issue with the camber setting, which is adjustable, because this shock tower at the bottom bolt sits about 10 and a half inches off the ground. And likewise, this other shock tower bolt also sits 10 and a half inches off the ground indicating that both of the wheels are cambered at the same angle. Taking the same measurements on the front corner of the pan, we get 10 and a half inches on the driver's side, and we get about 12 inches again on the passenger side. That means again, one and a half inches difference between the driver's side of the vehicle and the passenger side. So basically our problem is this corner of the pan sits an inch and a half higher than this corner of the pan. And that means that the body, which rests on the pan, will also be at that angle relative to the ground. We want to correct that. Now, while I could try to cut and re-weld the entire chassis to match both sides to the same height, instead I've simply taken a piece of square tube, cut and welded it to the, match the curvature of the chassis, and I intend to insert this between the fiberglass body and the metal chassis. I've drilled all the holes through the fiberglass and the spacer bar. Next, you need to mark the location where the holes need to be drilled on these flat steel bars, which will be the base plates for the reinforced roll bar system. As you saw, I've drilled all the holes in these plates based on their marked locations. Let's see how close we got. Just about perfect. And how about the other side? I went ahead and tack welded in a piece of square tube and that's going to provide a platform for the gusset plates that I'm going to be using on the roll system. If I move over a little bit here, you can see I've already cut my rails to be able to match the gusset plate perfectly. And this should allow me to have a nice sturdy platform on which to mount the roll bar. Now that everything's been welded together on both sides, I went ahead and rounded off the corner, and I'm now ready to drill a hole through this plate so that we can secure this corner of this, uh, of this flat bar to the rest of the chassis. I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll do so on the other side as well, and then we'll be ready to finish off and start building the actual uh, roll system. that should do it for part one of this video series. We now have a robust platform on which to build the remainder of our roll system. Thanks for watching Dielectric videos, and I will see you next time.